Hey guys, my name is Samuel and you're watching Techno Right. What's going on guys? Welcome to Techno Right Technology. It is done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix a Valorant error. So this Valorant error has been quite popular and a lot of people have been uh, getting it. So let's fix it. So what you're going to do is you're going to search Windows Defender Firewall. As you can see, Windows Defender Firewall. Open it up. And then you can see here it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on that. And here you're going to click on change settings. And then here you're going to click on allow another app. Click on that. Click on browse. And then you're going to go into your local disk C. Go into Riot Games. Go into Riot Client. And click on Riot Client Services.exe. Click on open. Then you can see a Riot Client. Click on add. So when you see Riot Client here, make sure this both is checked. Okay. So check both. And then click on allow another app again. Browse. Go back into the Riot Games folder. Go into Valorant. Live. Valorant. Dot exe open it up and it says bootstrap package game click on add and make sure it's private and public here so make sure both is checked then you're going to click on allow another app go into browse again this time you're going to stay here and then you're going to go into shooter game binaries win64 valorant win64 shipping.exe open up that it'll say valorant click on add and then make sure both private and public is checked and we're going to allow another app browse this time you're going to go into your C go into program files and search for Riot Vanguard and here you're going to open up vgc.exe open that and you can see it says Riot user mode service uh, you can add and then here you're going to make sure it clicks you have checked private and public and then I uh, click on OK and you're going to restart your computer and that error should have resolved so if uh, you have a third-party uh, antivirus like Avast or AVG I would highly highly recommend to disable that or uninstall it for Valorant to work so that's all for me guys if you have any other questions or any other problems please put them down in the comments below i think that's about it so please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out